Good morning, everyone. Um, I just wanted to do an, a quick update on my Socrates plant. Now, this is the one that I planted. You do not have to pollinate it, but there has been some incredible growth overnight. I do not understand what happened. Now, these are the new seedlings that you saw me in the other video put in. We're still waiting, and the jury is out on this one over here because the leaves still look a little weird, but this one is looking great. So this one bounced back pretty good. I will admit that this has, I don't know if you can see it, I'm hoping you can, that is a new bud right there. So I am actually looking forward to seeing that this is going to actually grow, so maybe we saved it just in time. But this Socrates plant is incredible, look at how big it grew. Now this is a lesson learned from the last time I did these uh, cucumbers when I did it with this one. I was never supposed to let it get this tall and this crazy. But this thing, for some reason, overnight, it seemed like, it just literally blew up. Maybe it appreciated its uh, extra buddies in there. But this one, I'm going to have to cut back, even though I hate the idea of, of losing cucumbers. See those? Like cucumbers there. There's ones up here. It's like this plant is insane. Look at this. I mean, this one, I have to go from all the way at the top, is out of view. But there's cucumbers even up here on this plant. So clearly this plant is going to give me quite a few cucumbers. So I'm not going to be upset about, um, sorry guys, trying to turn it around here. I'm not going to be upset about cutting this back because this is, this is going to be a lot. As a matter of fact, if it's coming out with this many cucumbers, I'm probably going to have to give quite a few of these away at work and so on. But, um, yeah, this was something. It literally just grew. And I mean, it's not even just this piece here. There is this, look at this, the, the tendrils are everywhere. This is a whole nother line of the plant. So that's leaning into my strawberries and, oh boy, look at this. This has, the tendrils have attached itself. I am going to have to cut the tendril off because it's like literally choking this uh, plant here, which is my stevia plant. So, I am definitely going to have to cut this back because it's now becoming like invasive. <laughs> so, this is, and this is a cucumber plant. Um, take a look at this. Even here on the bottom, this is that second tendril. And there's cucumbers there. There. So, clearly this plant is going to be giving off tons of cucumbers. What I, I extremely like about this plant is the fact that I do not have to pollinate it. So these cucumbers are just going to grow. So I will definitely need to cut these back. And this one yesterday, as a matter of fact, it got stuck in a zipper. And there's still a cucumber growing here. Look at that. This plant is just incredible. So um, these are two separate, of course, type of cucumber plants, but we're still hoping this little buddy right here is gonna grow. So I just wanted to do a quick update real fast on this Socrates plant because it is literally growing and maybe hence the name Socrates, you know, we're going to be all thinkers and movers here. But anyway, everyone, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be blessed. Be safe. Take care. there folks so uh this is day two of the socrates debacle and i say that because i was a little worried yesterday because um the plant had gotten way overgrown it's i mean and it, it almost seemed like it did it overnight look at the size of that leaf that is insanity but anyway um what i'm looking at today is trying to make sure that the plant is doing okay because it was wilting pretty bad yesterday after I pruned. Um, the plant was growing way up here. And I said, okay, I learned my lesson when it came to this plant. This is the uh, Space Master plant. And this is pretty soon over. Um, as you can see, this plant right here, this plant is pretty much seeing better days. Look at the, um, the stems here. They're starting to dry out. Um, there are a couple more cucumbers trying to get its way around, but
but um, this is going to probably be done in a probably, uh, I would say about a two weeks or so like that. But anyway, um, with the Socrates plant, it is now standing back up and it's looking a lot healthier than it did yesterday. I got really scared. I can't say scared. I'm going to say that, but a little worried because of the fact that, um, yeah, I didn't want to have to start all over again. But um, this right here is looking a lot better. And once again, these are the little seedlings we put in the other day. Uh, this was the one that had fallen over and so on. Um, those brown spots was probably just some kind of shock or something like that. Uh, this was, these leaves are what they call the cotyledons. So they're going to probably or possibly die off anyway. Those are the first leaves that come out when um, you plant a seedling. So right now, and this is his buddy over here, and they're doing great. They're, they, they, they're loving the new home. And here's this guy here. Again, I do not remember which one is the diva and which one is the little leaf. But um, I just wanted to give an update on the Socrates. It is looking a lot better and so on. Um, depending on this, I might cut this off here. But uh, right now, as you can see, it's doing its own thing. It's got some cucumbers on here which is great I'm really excited because um, yeah that was a little bit worrying because I didn't want to have to start all over anyway just giving a little update you guys have an awesome day if you like the uh, material please like and subscribe and you guys take care bye